In this video, I am playing Minecraft Manhunt with my friend, Dr. Pronto. For those of y'all who don't know what Minecraft Manhunt is, it's an idea I stole from Dream, where, yeah, my friend hunts me down, and if he kills me, or manages to kill me, then he wins. So, yeah. So he gave me a little bit of a head start, so right now I'm just kind of uh, breaking down some trees so I can get some wood, and then my plan from there was to just basically uh, find a spot to hide, Prefer preferably in a cave so then I can mine a little bit also, and uh, don't forget he also has a map. I don't have one at this moment, but I will get one later, but yeah, since he has a, a map, he will know basically where I am. And that was me, missing the water as I jumped down. I decided that this spot right here is good enough for now, especially since it already has iron. So now I was taking a little break from running to mine uh, a lot of iron and to get more material. I also tried to crouch a lot as well, so that way if he's ever close, he can't just find me by my name tag. Also around this time, he said he was coming towards me, so I kept on like looking out for him every once in a while, so that way I don't get caught off guard. But yeah, uh, he didn't really come that prepared. So I felt kind of bad for him, so I didn't want to just like outright just like steal all his stuff. So instead, I put most of his stuff in a chest for him for when he comes back. And just like that, it's time to go off into the distance to search for anything else.
So now I realize that I pretty much have no food at all. So I decide to stop here and kill some animals. So at this point, it's been a while, and it, I've only seen him once this entire time. And now that I actually got a map, I actually know where he is now. So this time, I'm not waiting for him to come to me, I'm going to him. The map said he should be somewhere around here, so now I just ma gotta make sure that he doesn't spot me first. I decide to go up this hill, since that way I can get a better view of down there, and maybe even see him. I set up camp there as well, and also, uh, we both agreed to skip the night time. So now I'm crouching, so that way he doesn't accidentally spot my name tag. I couldn't spot where he is from up there, however I could see his base. As I'm going down the hill, I'm wondering what is the sneakiest way to approach his uh, chest and furnace. Now you can actually see his name tag. At this point, I am so confused on how he hasn't even seen me yet, I start taking some risks and start coming a little bit more out to the open. He doesn't have anything good in his chest, so I just end up leaving before he comes back. I was hiding and the skeleton almost blew my cover. Good thing he didn't come out while I was here fighting the skeleton. But as I'm down here, I realize that I can actually see his name tag from down here. He's coming up, 
and he's going past me. He just went past me, and he's going back to his place. Okay, he's, he's, he broke his crafting table, now he's breaking his furnace. That means he's about to go move to somewhere else. Now is my chance, it's now or never. I go over in, he still doesn't realize I'm behind him until I hit him, and then even after that, I tell him in the party chat that like I'm behind him, and that's when he actually ends up turning around. He act I was not ready to fight him actually because he actually has on like a piece of armor, a piece of iron armor. So it's kind of a good thing that he ran because all I really have is a sword and a shield. He starts running into the snow biome, so I just end up following him. <laughs> And after walking for a while, I found a village. <laughs> 